Now we're having some fun. Gregory Manorino. Now look, here's the best part about what's about to happen here, Greg. You had to shut your channel down and charge people to watch your videos to get away from the trolls. You've also claimed that you're going to donate the money to charity. That, my friends, is going to get you in trouble. Because if you say you're going to donate money to charity, by law now, you gotta donate that money to charity. Or you're basically, forget all your awful calls in the stock market and your horrendous recommendations to buy gold and silver and your your squinty eyes. Again, I don't wanna go too deep into this right now, but if you've claimed now that you're gonna donate money to charity and you don't, you're now officially a fraud, a criminal, a charlatan, in all the words that I've been described over the last seven years. Now, buddy, is it because you're hypersensitive that you've taken comments off your videos? Is it really the fact that you're trying to keep just the winners on your channel or you just can't take criticism? So I spent a half an hour yesterday making a video dedicated to you and I realized no one's going to sit through this for a half an hour. So I'm going to try to condense it because I talked about my history. Uh, I went on a little bit too far. So let's, I'm going to get to the main points. First of all, again, this is not, a, this is not an attack and I'm sorry about your squinty eyes. I don't want to directly, I don't know, because you, you, you seem like you're, you know, you're taking a crap and you're confused about what you're saying. You're like, Gilbert Gottfried, do you, do you even see what's happening? I don't know. I don't want to attack you personally. Maybe you're a hell of a guy. We could go out for drinks. We could talk about your views, my views. And again, you've, you've still never addressed that idea. I love Vegas. I'll come out to visit you. We'll go out. If you live in Vegas, I just have to assume that you like to party, but maybe you don't. Maybe you're one of those, you know, you do wear a suit and tie on a YouTube video. <laughs> I mean, come on. Maybe you don't like to drink and party. I've left my soul in Vegas. Oh, baby, there's part of me still living in Vegas right now. I've left pieces of myself in Vegas. Big partier. You live in Vegas, I'm assuming you like to party, but maybe you don't. Again, I don't want to stray too far from the subject. I'm sure you're a nice guy. Maybe uh, you're married, wife, kids, I have no idea. But what I have to do now, and I don't even know if this comment that you put on one of my videos is directed at me, that I might be too afraid to take down your comment. What was your comment? I know you were fighting some other people on my video. I don't know if any of it was directed at me. Sometimes I don't know. I'm not the hippest YouTuber. But again, I have to control myself right now because I got other things going on that uh, I'm very disturbed about. Not about you, not about the stock market, other things. So I'm just really ripping this morning. So I figured let me make a video while I'm all, all uppity. Um, afraid to leave comments. Have you read some of the comments left on my videos in the last seven years? The only comment I have ever taken down, and I think maybe it's been twice out of the thousands and thousands of comments, was that it was just so disgusting to read, I didn't want other people to see it. I thought it was funny. It was all about my ass and getting rammed in it and blood and mucus everywhere. And it was really, really vile. But I thought that would turn off a few people, so I deleted the comment. Let's not forget about the anti-Semitism that's thrown my way. But you don't have to deal that, Mr. Vowel, at the end of your name, do you? No. The anti-Semitic people out there on YouTube, because, oh, they hate the Jews. Oh, baby. They hate the Jews, of course, because I somehow took their money. I run the banking system. I control everything personally and I've done them some disservice. Anyway, but let's go back. Let's go back to your, first of all, claiming you're going to donate the 499 to 
charity, we can now subpoena you. We can formally start an investigation because this is serious stuff and I'm not, this is not tongue in cheek. You cannot claim that you're donating money to charity. People are paying you now as, and the claim is that you are not, you just wanted to shut your channel down to pr protect yourself from getting trolled. But I appreciate, look, I still think you can leave. I don't have to watch your videos. I can just leave comments on your videos because I don't need to know what you're saying. It's wrong. You're probably wrong. And again, with your conspiracy theories and government debt, I agree. We're probably headed down the wrong road. There really isn't economic growth. But again, if you're a real trader, Greg, you don't really care about that stuff. You don't care about CNBC. You don't care about the durable goods and Greg, oh, the terrible, the terrible, I don't know, Greg Hunter. I mean, I got to get this guy down. The terrible, durable goods. Oh, number, Greg, how that was the terrible, the, the, the economic data put out by the government with the GDP, Greg, how do you explain it? I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He's got a fucking, what are you, a fucking pigeon? Again, I, I, I hate talking about physical problems. Look at me. I'm a handsome fella. I'm just trying to self-deprecate myself for your benefit. Look at me. My, I'm, I'm beautiful. Look at this beautiful, oh, smooth skull. My wife is hot. Again, let's bring it back a second. Oh, there he goes again. He's, he's got the OCD, the ADD, the HDHDI. He's always all over the place. It's hard to follow. That's why his videos go on for 20 minutes. He jumps, he jumps, he jumps, he jumps, he jumps. Let's bring it home. Claiming, claiming the charity thing. Very dangerous, Greg. But let's go home. Most of the comments that I've left on your videos were straight up questions about what I should do with my gold and silver. Fact, you've been telling people to buy gold and silver since I've been watching your videos about a year and a half ago. Fact, gold and silver has been going down for a year and a half since you've been telling people to watch your videos. Fact, with every investment, there needs to be a strategy and there needs to be a point where you have to cut your losses off. Let your winners run, cut your losses short. Now, gold and silver, have been plummeting. There needs to be a point where you suggest, maybe I'm getting this wrong. Maybe I should be getting out of this. And that's all I've ever asked you, Greg. I said, I'm getting beat up in my silver and my gold. What should I do? No response. If I owned Alcoa and it's going down, where's my stop loss? Very simple questions. These are the things that I address live. And I've asked you also to come on my show, give us the insight that makes you somebody that should be paid for advice. All we're basing us, the trolls you call us, and I hate that term, hate it, trolling, whatever. All we're basing our opinions on here on YouTube and the people that dislike you and again, I'm not going to say I hate you. I don't even know you. But, and I don't dislike you either. But you have to admit, since, oh, there's no denying that you've been wrong. The market has not crashed. Gold and silver has been going down since you've been making videos. And Alcoa went down every day since you recommended buying. And I know it's only a couple of points, but you know what, if you would have came along and said, if Alcoa breaks 1685, I'm thinking about getting out. Now, here's another fact that you've claimed on one of your comments, that you give specific entries and ideas on your website. Now, unless there's a sub chamber to your website, a different 
secret lair on the website where you do post more stuff, this is a lie by Gregory Manorino. You say you have a list that says I buy in the money calls and in the money puts and I don't go all in and I try to and if I'm, the position is gone that means I've exited the position. You wrote AA calls. Which calls are these? Are these weeklies? Did you lose money? Are these monthlies? Maybe you're still in them. What strike price did you buy? You're giving vague you can't be more vague, actually. So there is no specificity, specificity, specific ideas on your website, unless I'm missing something. And again, Greg, I'm being serious here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not, I'm not here to fight you. I'm looking for answers, okay? Now, some people say you should ignore the trolls, they'll go away. Greg, I hate to tell you something. Unlike you who said you were spending too much time managing the trolls, I have all the time in the world. That's right. I can make videos all freaking day, ripping you apart. And ripping apart all your cohort friends that have been getting it wrong about the economy. And again, I don't care whether under the surface the economy is really not growing. All I care about is if I buy a stock and it goes up in the time frame that I'm involved. I don't care about anything else. You understand? I'm not even from this time zone. I'm a sword. I should have been born in the medieval times. Drink, steal, rob, kill, live till 35, and then have your kids take over the empire. This is so bullshit to me anyway. You understand, Greg? So, all of this is a joke to me. This life is a joke. I'm a medieval fucking character. I should be riding around on a steed looking to rape and pillage. That's the time zone I should have been born in. How the hell did I get on this topic? Let's bring it back. It's 12 minutes, I'm sorry. So Greg, all you've done is perpetuate lies on the internet, claiming you're gonna be donating money to charity, very dangerous again, claiming that you have specific ideas on your website, which you don't, you don't. And then of course, calling me afraid to leave your comments on my videos? Come on, buddy, come on. So here I am again calling you out. Come to the website, I'm gonna put a free link for everybody. Maybe Greg will show up Monday morning. And like I said, Greg, the difference between you and me and time, I've got all the time in the world. I can make videos and oh, baby, do I have some stuff planned for you if you don't get back to me. Oh, man. And it's not just gonna be a character assault. They're all gonna be, oh, I heard that you threatened to sue somebody also. Maybe you don't know about the parody laws of entertainment, but I'm going to make a Gregory Manorino channel, but it's going to be parody, so then you can't say anything about it, because I'm just doing parody. Go read about that in your law book. I heard you had a blackjack site too, how'd that work out? All right, so again, I'm calling you out. I'm going to put a link on the screen here. Everybody come to the website, because Again, my track record, again, starts tomorrow. I am out to prove myself every day. I think you know my story. I made a lot of money in 2000, 2001, when the market got slaughtered. I lost a lot of it, thinking I was a genius picking some stocks in after the crash. They all still went to zero. Then I made some money. I was getting hammered. Watch the videos, 2006, 2007, short in the market. Made it all back, 2008, 2009. Got long at the bottom on 2009. Of course, I sold most of that stock. And this is where we are. I'm out to prove myself every day. Find out why I shorted U.S. Steel yesterday when I was loving the stock. Find out why I bought 10,000 shares of Alcoa at $15 two days ago. Granted, I sold it at 1515 and 1520 and 1530, 
But again, I'm out to prove myself. My track record right now is zero. I've got no track record. You know why? Because it doesn't matter to the new guy that shows up tomorrow whether I've made money or lost money. If I help the guy that shows up tomorrow, my track record is 100%. If I give the guy three good ideas, I'm three for three as far as he's concerned. He doesn't care what I did for the last 25 years. I don't care. I'm out to prove myself. I want to make money tomorrow, uh, on Monday. All right. So again, you threw a lot of things out there, Greg. Okay? Now, I, I didn't, I didn't, also, I, I didn't really get to the point, and I'm gonna wrap it up right here, because I know we're, we're closing in on that time zone, that time period where you start to fade. I'd be fading, and I appreciate everybody who watches my 20 minute videos. These are crazy. Because I could talk forever. You have been telling about, talking about buying gold and silver, right? Now, assuming you bought silver on the way down at $22, the stock or the, or the commodity is trading at $16 now, right? I'm asking a serious question. Should I sell it? Should I be buying more? What if I don't have any money to buy more? These are the only questions I've ever asked you. Because again, on your good advice, I bought all my friends and family, my kids and my cousins and my nieces and nephew, $21 silver coins that are now worth, I guess, 16 bucks. I'm making a video here. Should I take the Shut up. I'm making a video here. My wife. My wife. She's disturbing me. Should I take we got hamster problems. Mm. 